He made some big saves in the third. It was going wide, Steve! Ah. And then, yes, please, dude! What a great goal! Dude! Crazy throwing waffles. Woo. Who are you? Optimus Prime! Back off! Don't with the sword! Come on, Matt! I'm emotionally fragile! I'm in a blue room of emotion! <clears throat> Leafs lose 4 to 3 in overtime to the New Jersey Devils. As if the Devils ever lose when it goes to overtime in the shootout. Thinking about adopting Sweden's point system in NHL? No? Cool, it's cool. Okay, we can talk about the game for a wee bit, but let's focus on the issues. First off, Clark MacArthur scored, so you can tell he was not traded. Posted on my Twitter, oh my god, I can't believe that MacArthur was traded to the Sharks just to screw with people, and some people didn't uh, like the joke. Which made me really enjoy it. But a lot of other people found it funny too. And a lot of spoiled sports were like, man, that's that's lame. That's it's not even funny. You're right, it's not funny because it rattled you, which makes it hilarious. Well, I'm never gonna trust you as a source ever again. I think most people after a maximum of five minutes knew I was joking. Especially after I said I was joking. Would you prefer it if I was Eklund and said I was serious? Next, holy crap, thank you, Phil Kessel. Jonas Gustafsson managing to keep the Leafs in it in the third period with a few huge saves. I know, I know, just let me get to that. Oh, Daniel's just gonna defend him. Shut your face and mouth. Gonna type in all caps so he knows how pissed I am. Kessel tying it, breaking a bit of a slump, but earning the Leafs a key point. Bozak with an excellent setup. And you guys, uh, well, a lot of you anyway, not all of you, just seem to be resisting the Bozak love. I know you want a better number one center, but all things considered, he's pulling his weight. And as far as any Kessel slump, you notice it double because the rest of the team can't bloody score. To be fair, probably compensating for what's behind them. Also, that tying goal coming with Gustafsson on the bench, proving that sometimes the Leafs are better with no goalie at all. Okay, goal post just, bah, barely, the goal, like, crazy spotlight thing came on. Nah. Puck. Nah. Now. And Mark Fain just puts one on net for the most anticlimactic overtime goal since Patrick Kane won the Stanley Cup for the Blackhawks. Gustafson made some big saves. I understand. He's part of the reason they got to overtime. But. The bleep bleep and bleep bleep hell diddly ding dong crap puck was going wide. Accidents happen on occasion. Even the best goalies let in crappy goals sometime. Remember what Brodeur did in the 2003 Stanley Cup final against the Ducks? That was brutal. What's great about that goal is I didn't even say what game it was, what the score was, where it was being played. You know what goal I'm talking about because it was that bad. Ish happens. But I don't care how many shutouts he got in January. Ish doesn't happen this much. The David Clarkson goal was shocking. The Ponikarovsky goal less than four Four minutes after the Leafs tie it and less than two minutes before the end of the period? Wow. So here's the thing about all the great saves that Gustafson made in the third. You can't poop on the floor, clean it up, and say you did a good thing. I appreciate you cleaning it up and everything, but I still watched you poop on the floor. And frankly, I'm not gonna have that much confidence that you won't poop on the floor again in the future. The restraint to say poop and not something else. By the way, I was watching Hoarders the other day and they were showing that, but they bleeped out that word. How can you show it and you're not allowed to say it? Am I the only one who finds that messed up? But yeah, sorry about the analogy. I'm thinking it's damn accurate though. So, has Gustafson bailed this team out in their time of need? Oh, several times. Did he help pretty much carry the team in January? You bet he did. Did he deflect a puck that was going wide into his own net in the overtime of a very important game so that the Leafs can make the playoffs? Yeah. I read something by Mike Ulmer a few years ago. It was a it was a great piece. It was after an exhibition game. Leafs versus the Red Wings. First Zach and Rhino coming down two on zero on Gustafson. I can't forget Jim Houston's call. It's burned into my brain. And it's a two on zero. Jan Mersek, Rhino, stop by Gustafson! Houston even kind of pauses for a second just to mentally go, oh, what? Kevin Weeks doing color commentary. What a save by the monster. Wow. You can almost see his face like, uh. And I'm paraphrasing here, but what Mike Ulmer wrote about was sometimes a goalie makes a save and you would trust him with your just your firstborn kid. Here you go. And he ends up stealing the number one job from Toscala, which really was like taking candy from a baby at that point, but he steals the number one job. I think he won something like eight straight games even after Jaguar took over at the very end of the season. He was on his way. But getting back to that exhibition game, that one huge, amazing save that he made where you just give him so much trust, this was the antonym of that. Because you know what? I think Gustafson has been treated immensely unfairly in this city. The defense has made so many more mistakes than he has, but... These goals still happen way too often. After this goal in this game and the context and just the importance of it, I'm, I'm sorry, I fold, I'm out, I'm done. I know Reimer is struggling something fierce. He's gotta find his game back so that the Leafs can make the playoffs, but 
even through Reimer's struggles, after a goal like that, I, I'm done. You're Reimer's backup. Unless the Leafs make a trade for a goalie, which I think would be a mistake, or Scrivens pulls off something crazy, I hope Gustafson likes wearing a baseball cap. And it's about the full game effort. I know and I still feel a tinge of this is unfair to him, but it's it's like I can't help it. It's not you, it's me. After that goal, I'm just, I'm done. And I tell you what, I never thought I'd say this, but Leafs fans across the world, if you see a Flyers fan, buy him a beer. Because the Flyers beating the Jets in overtime is the only reason the Leafs still hold a playoff spot right now. Wayne Simmons, Scarborough boy, what up? Tying it up with 10 seconds left. And if you buy that Flyers fan a beer, just make sure there's no Rangers fans around. It could turn into an incident. But yeah. I'm done with this video uh, and the stevedangle.com poll is Jonas Gustafsson. You guys, are you done with him? And hey, you know what? It's not to say he sucks. Look at Mike Smith and the success he's having this season. Look at Brian Elliott, some of the other guys that I've cited before. Gustafsson may succeed in a better system. I mean, look at his Swedish numbers. And he might just go, ah, that's Sweden, but still. Ah, just trying to think of a good ending, but uh, I'm done.